and welcome back. This is Technoblast, and tonight I'm going to go over the power and startup options in the settings. Uh, we're going to try and go uh, through every option that's available, and, ex and I'll explain to you what they do. Okay, so you go to settings, and then navigate down to power and startup. And turn off and restart is the first option, and what this does is just simply shuts down your Xbox completely or restart it. That's, that's pretty much what it does. Next one, there's a lot more in power mode and startup. So the first one is turn off after one hour in activity. And that's pretty self-explanatory if you're not using your Xbox. Uh, and nothing happens on the Xbox for one hour. It just shuts off on its own. And you have either six hours, one hour, or do not turn off at all. TV and AV power options. This goes out to the other uh, TV and AV options um, uh, menu or select settings. We'll go over this later on. Uh, not in this video though. Keep my console and console games and apps up to date. Uh, what this does, it allows your console to be updated um, in the background automatically. Same thing for the games and apps. That way, when you come back and turn it on. Uh, your Xbox and if a game had an update it has been already applied. Uh, the startup chime is that new chime that has uh, come into play I think the last update or so where um, when you press the button or you, you just turn it on it goes bing you know it, it just makes a chime. A lot of people don't like it and because of it uh, pe they gave us the option to either turn it off keep it on or only when the button was pressed. I usually keep it off. Instant on it or energy saving saving option is instant on if you want. Um, I guess it's more of a sleep mode or a standby um, setting where um, it's it's still ringing and the Xbox is still running, but it's not completely on, just enough to you know hear your voice if you use the Xbox on Xbox off or the Cortana um, voice activation. So energy savings, it's pretty much like you, you completely turn it off or instant on is it's still listening to your voice. Uh, and this is what I, the option I was talking about where it wakes up by saying either Xbox on or Xbox off. Uh, when Xbox is off, turn off storage. So um, I believe this also affects the internal, I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing um, if you uncheck it that it doesn't, make, I guess it, the, the, the hard drive internal won't uh, spin fully, even when it's an energy say, uh, instant on. Not really sure what this does, so I'm just, I'm just kind of going off what this says. Um, maybe if you have an external drive and if you uncheck it, it doesn't keep it on because if, you know, if, if you ever notice that your external is still on, if you have a portable. So um, that's, um, I'm just, hopefully <laughs> I get, I explained it just fine. Uh, on star, on start, go to TV. Uh, if you have the Xbox tuner, the hot hodgepodge tuner, um, you can have turn on this option here, and every time you turn on your Xbox, um, it will go straight to the one guide, so TV. It doesn't go to your home page. Uh, I actually have this, and it's useful when uh, on my Xbox downstairs, uh, where the, pretty much the family uses, and it is our main media hub, and I do have the TV tuner, and anytime they turn on the TV, it just goes straight to the TV, or when they turn on the Xbox. Uh, on this Xbox, I don't have it, so it, I have it off. And that's it. Uh, th these are all the options. Hopefully, uh, my explanation helped. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post up, and I'll answer as quickly as possible. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't sub, if you haven't subbed me, uh, hopefully you will. And uh, and that's it for tonight. So have a good night, everybody.